Welcome. Today's lesson is exploring the order of Hineptera, and in particular, the suborder of true bugs. This is part two in our series. If you wanted to know a little bit more of the general characteristics, you should uh, watch part one before you do this. This is the identification as well as the host part of um, this particular version. So let's go ahead and get started. When studying uh, the identification portion of this, I really want you to concentrate on some of the general features, uh, but also the hosts. What kind of things do they eat um, and, and so on. So in this one, this happens to be Ligus bug. And you've seen this one before in the drawing. When we're looking at the Ligus bug, there are still some, some extremely good features to, to be able to hang on to. First, behind the thorax is the scutellum. And what that, what that shows us is that nice kind of yellow, sometimes green heart shape uh, behind the thorax. And then at the apex or the end of their abdomen, you notice that their um, uh, wing membrane isn't completely covered with an exoskeleton. And of course, uh, that's pretty much uh, it in terms of what, the, what you're looking for. Um, but also what we need to know is we need the, the A, B, B, Cs. Now, what that means to me is their hosts. For instance, the alfalfa, the beets, the beans, and of course, the cotton. Those are the, the main hosts that a Lycus bug uh, will, uh, will have. Now, notice when I said A, B, B, C, I have... I have two asterisks by them. What that means is, this is just to help you remember. What you need to write down on the test is the actual alfalfa, the cotton, the beets, and the beans. That's what you have to write down. Uh, the other one just kind of helps you uh, remind yourself. And then, of course, the nymphs. The nymphs, that, I think that's the second, third, and fourth uh, instar. You can see as they're progressing, they're looking more and more like the adult phase. Uh, now, understand that while we're looking at these, we're looking at also the adult forms, but also the nymph form as well. You have to uh, sometimes identify the larvas or the nymphs uh, when you're looking at this as well. The squash bug is much longer and leaner than some of the other bugs, like, for instance, when we look at the stink bugs. But the squash bug is really long and lean. It can have colors of brown and black could be green uh, and, and other kinds of colors as well. But notice when we look at the um, corium, which is the covers of the wings, on the outside edges, they're also also another color. Sometimes they're uh, yellow, sometimes they're red, sometimes they're white. But they all have the same general characteristics, like all this suborder of true bugs. And uh, what again, the squash reminds me of cucurbits, and cucurbits are what they eat squash, watermelons, cucumbers, and pumpkins. Remember, one asterisk means that's what you have to write down. Two is something that'll help you remember. And of course, the nymphs, if you happen to see the nymphs, they're going to look a lot like the adult, but probably a lighter color and a little bit uh, smaller th than uh, the adults. We go to our next one, which is green stink bugs. They kind of look like a, they're built like a shield. They're kind of broad across the top, like this one is, and then come down a little, little bit uh, wider at the end, and then kind of round it off at, at the bottom. So they're kind of in all different colors, green, brown, a variety of them, but they have this very distinct shield looking shape, kind of flattened as well. And these, these, um, Ho the hosts for these are stone fruits, and stone fruits are, uh, stone fruits are things like apricots, uh, peaches, almonds, and of course grains as well. It's not a stone fruit; it's obviously a grain. Um, but stink bugs primarily kind of focus in on their um, hosts, which are stone fruits. Again, apricots, peaches, uh, almonds, and of course uh, grains. Now, this guy is kind of cool looking. It looks, it looks like a squeeze toy you'd give to your dog. Um, it has the three, sometimes two, really broad uh, black, and then these light green stripes across the uh, abdomen. And so that is the uh, green stink bug. This next one um, is the um, Bagrata bug. The Bagrata bug looks like, um, or shaped like a stink bug. And this guy has quite an incredible paint job on him. Um, on this black, it looks like spray painted red or orange. And uh, he, or not he, but this bug, um, it likes its hosts, 
the Bagrata bug's host is the cold crops. And cold crops, if anybody were to ask you, lettuce and broccoli, cauliflower, kale. But on the contest, all you have to write down is cold crops. Just know cold crops are the are usually the um, um, family of, of of crops that are in the mustard family, cruciferae. And of course, lettuce, broccoli, cauliflower, kale. Uh, that's what you have to remember as far as uh, what the cold crops are. But write down cold crops. And then the nymph is also kind of a, a, a kind of a strange looking uh, fellow. It's it's kind of flattened. It's it's kind of roundish. It kind of looks like a penny with well um, with antennae. So that is the uh, Bagrata bugs. And then we get to uh, our brown marmorated stink bugs. Again, stink bug is typically kind of a shield-shaped type of, of a bug. But this, this bug, um, if you take a look, at it has a little bit more of a, a, a head. The head sticks out a little bit more from the thorax. And again, it's again, again that characteristic shield shape. But again, it comes in basically black and brown and you'll notice in particular on the legs they'll have stripes on them and then what uh, marmorated stink bugs go after is fruit and fruiting uh, vegetables oh, you might ask what's that anything that is developed by uh, the ovary is actually considered a fruit now some vegetables like tomatoes and peppers are, are uh, um, basically a fruit um, so when you're talking about a fruiting vegetable that means you know, tomatoes and peppers and beans are kind of under attack. But again, at the contests or in the test, you will be using fruiting uh, or vegetable, vegetables or fruit. That's what you will be actually uh, writing down. And then, of course, uh, the brown marmorated stink bug. This guy is also very kind of colorful. has kind of an antique look to him. But in particular, if you look down, he has three or four broad brown stripes on him on a tan background. Now, this uh, last one, if you can't find out why it's called leaf-footed bug, you're going to need to get some glasses or uh, you're just going to have to look a little bit more carefully. Now, th this guy, he, he is really slender. He looks uh, kind of dressed up, ready to go, almost like a vampire handsome kind of thing. And then he's got a little belt around him, possibly. But if you look at the back end of his, his back legs, uh, they look like leaves. Because when they're, um, they're kind of being protected from the environment, so they kind of the back end looks like a, a leaf. And what they have a host, that their hosts are... Um, almonds, pistachios, pomegranate, and citrus. Here in Northern California, we don't um, have much citrus, but definitely almonds, pistachios, pomegranates are their host. And then the nymph just looks like a miniature version of Dad here. Uh, he just hasn't grown into his his his, um, his uniform quite yet. So that's what the nymph looks like, very much like that. But the body's kind of shrunken a little bit; doesn't fit it, uh, into his uniform uh, very well. So um, at this particular point, I think it's time for you to practice. I am going to um, we'll do number one first. I'm just going to uh, stop talking for about 30 seconds and bring you back uh, on. But just why don't you just hit the stop button and then on a piece of paper write down the five things that you're going to need at a contest. Like for instance, common name, the pest. You're going to need to identify destructive uh, stages, whether it's larva, nymph, or adult, and then which a mouth part are you going to be checking off on so the bottom three principal host mouth parts and destructive um stage makes you put a x on the the uh, the line and then the other two you actually have to write out what the common name and the order of pest is so why don't you go ahead and do number one first and then we'll review it okay now that i'm back let's take a look at number one you should have got this one it's definitely the squash bug and then herniptera is going to be the order you should go without saying because what this video is all about and then we're showing what kind of insect well it's going to be the adult form so you put the x on the adult mouth part again slam dunk if if you identify it in hinoptera um, order and when you do that it's going to be the piercing sucking mouth parts and then lastly the principal host i remember cucurbits which means it's going to be watermelons it's going to be cucumbers it's going to be squash and of course pumpkins so let's do number two um go ahead and turn it off for about 30 seconds and we'll get right back to you thanks okay so number two what'd you get 
Well, this one should have been easy if you notice the back legs. Leaf-footed bug, great. And then Hinoptera, all right, we got that. And then what we're going to be doing is, all right, what do we see here? Is that the adult? Is it a larva? Well, it's the nymph. Remember, he doesn't look like he's kind of grown up very well. Uh, and then the destructive mouth part, simple, easy, piercing, sucking. And then lastly, amnes, pistachios, uh, pomegranates, and citrus. Those are the hosts. So there you have it, a quick little practice, some ID. That's all that's in this suborder of true bugs. Uh, the next video, video three, uh, is going to primarily be on the other components or the other insects in this uh, order called Hiniptera. The following video is going to be on another phase or another part of the order of Hiniptera. Bye. Oh, one last thing. I want to thank Mr. Uh, uh, Tim Brown for helping me and encouraging me to kind of do these videos and to be able to provide, well, I hope, which are high quality um, resources for you. And um, be before I sign off, I also, again, want to thank Lindy Wax for some tremendous uh, uh, drawings that she's done. You'll see some more as we go along. So we'll see you at the next contest. Bye.